Okay. Okay, we're here with John. This is John H. Stracy, who also happens to be an ex welterweight world boxing champion. And there's the belt to prove it. Mm -hmm. All right, John? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, John, we're, you're quite interested in history, aren't you? I am. Now, yes. if we talk about history generally, um, I've got some pictures here of every monarch that yes. Britain has ever had since 1066. Okay. So there's plenty of them there. You're going to, in a minute, you'll choose one and we'll talk about that. But before you do that, um, also I have a little prediction here with a business card. And we'll get back to that as well. But my question is, if you were to choose someone from history, I mean, you're, you're, you're a very famous sports uh, sort of personality, and you might go with a sportsman. But there again, because I'm a magician, you might think I'm expecting that. But I'm going to, you, you, I'd like you to mention anyone from history, anyone you like. Well, any, any anyone. Yeah, Charles anyone, Dickens. Anyone who interests you, maybe. Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens was absolutely a very keen amateur magician. It's a true story, as well as a great novelist. Anyway, so we'll just get back to Charles Dickens in a second. So every monarch of Europe, we'll mix them all up, okay? And instead of you, me saying you take one by looking at it, a lot of people go for obvious ones like Henry VIII would be a popular one. Okay. Um, another popular one would be the present queen. Yes. Um, let's be more obscure. I'll go through these very slowly. Okay. And all you want you to do is touch one for me. Just touch one. I'll touch that one. There, okay. Now you don't have to know the, the monarch. Okay. Do you want to... Can you see, is it the right way around? Uh, no. Whoops. I can see. Is it the right way around now? Yes, I can see. Okay, can you remember this monarch for me? I've got angle glasses on. Okay, say John, John, so have a look at that for me. This is the one you chose. Can you see the name on the, on the yes, monarch? Yes, I can. Uh, usually kings and queens have numbers after them. Can you see a number? I certainly can, yes. Okay, okay. Excellent. And... We'll put them aside now. I want you to think of that monarch for me. Okay. Think. I'm getting um, medieval. Um, it's not a modern. It's not. Uh, it's definitely not a modern. And it's not a queen. There were only six queens in British history. But I'm getting. I'm sort of getting a. Um, I'm getting a sort of medieval, a medieval, um, you hold, take that one there. Medieval, when I say medieval, that means the Middle Ages, okay? Going back four or five hundred years. I've got a feeling it's an Edward. It is an Edward. Well, there were plenty of Edwards, there were seven. We looked at Queen Victoria's son. I think I will go with the father of the Black Prince himself, one of the longest reigning monarchs in British history, Edward III. Spot on. Thank you. Could you open that up and make sure it says Edward III? And maybe turn it around for the camera. Edward III. Fantastic. Now that's interesting, but to make this, this illusion of the mind more interesting, John, we do. We sort of know each other personally, yes. don't we? And but we haven't arranged anything. Not at all. Not one bit. Remember, I had my little prediction here. Now, this has been on the desk the whole time, right? Yes. And we said, I suggested that you may go with a sports personality, but you didn't. Who did you say earlier when I said name a historical person? You said Charles. Charles Dickens. Dickens. Charles Dickens, sorry, yeah, yeah. He said Charles Dickens. Sorry. That prediction's been there the whole time. Read out loud what it says. Charles Dickens. That is amazing. Thank you very much, Charles Dickens. That's, that's yeah. John H. Stracy. Hey, again with um, this is John H. Stracy, former welterweight boxing world champion. And uh, we did a little mind sort of game before in terms of thinking about monarchs and things. This is more of a traditional sort of sleight of hand magic trick with cards. Um, as you can see, they're all completely yes. different. It is a legitimate deck. You can mix them up if you want. A little I bit. I will. Okay. <laughs> Shuffle, as we say. Like the boxing shuffle. That's it. <laughs> I used to do it like this at one time. Ooh, very posh. Ah, very fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not just a good box, you know, folks. Is that the alley shuffle or <laughs> The alley yeah. shuffle. Yeah. Is that the alley shuffle? Yeah. Okay. So John, John what you're going to do, John, is yes. just take one out. Yes. Make sure it's a free choice. Yes. And... Have a look at the card. I can do that. Yes, do yes. not show me. Are you happy with that card? Oh, you can yeah. change it if you want. No, no, no. And slide that back in for me. Excellent. Now, all we're going to do now 
mix them up a little bit. Just randomly mix them up. Now, John, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you um, two two cards, yes. and if one's yours, we can't do the trick. But I can guarantee that one will not be yours. Okay. Two of clubs. No, that goes sort of slightly to your right, but it's not your card, is it? No. And we have the King of Spades. Is this your card? No. Now you've got a free choice now, John, between the King of Spades and the Two of Clubs. Which one would you like to choose? Are you sure? Yeah. Put your left hand on top of the king. Left hand on top nice. of the king. Turn the two of clubs over with your right hand. Turn it over completely. Now, we know this isn't your card, and we know that's a king, right? Would it be amazing if I could turn this too into the king that's under your hand? I would be amazing. That would be pretty amazing, wouldn't yeah. it? <laughs> so check the king of spades. It's now your card. Oh, damn. Fantastic. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you better than Paul Daniels. <laughs> very much. Not if Paul, Paul, if you're watching, if you're watching, <laughs> if you're watching Paul, he doesn't really mean that. Thank Just. you. <laughs>